Laura Marie Panazzo's work recontextualizes the disregarded, giving it new life and purpose. In many ways, her art reflects herself, a striking presence with a strong voice and unapologetic vulnerability. Sometimes stress and in life itself can uh, numb you to not hear and feel your true calling or that voice inside. But once I started to listen to the voice inside in my life as a young teenager, uh, it just said, um, just paint. And uh, I started to paint and I just could do it. And then once I started to paint, I found out that I could sculpt even better than what I could paint. I realized that there was a whole brand new world and that uh, I was uh, given a gift that I knew I needed to follow. Even if I didn't know how I was going to do it all, I would just take it day by day and see where it led. It's the art of surrender. When you live enough life, something will speak to you and tell you that you're about to be doing something different because it's what you need to do. I've always listened to my inner voice and I've always felt touched by nature and like the open sky and like the sea and the waves of the water. There's an internal dialogue that comes from fear. You know, if you're able to process fear in the right way, it can be used as a tool. It can be used as a tool for success and for understanding. Vulnerability is um, something I've come to make friends with. It's okay to feel like you're giving everything because you are. If you're a really good person and you're trying really hard and you're putting it all out there, you are given everything. You should feel vulnerable. It's a natural part of life. I start with two by fours and a T-frame, and uh, from there I just build the structure out. So I start with the shoulders and the neck, and then I find the head, and then I build out the wings, and then the tail feathers, usually the last part. There's a process to it, and it's just that I trust my vision. Get in the zone for many hours at a time, and I can do all kinds of stuff. I start to understand the wood as like a body in motion. I start to feel the waves of the water. My birds and my sculptures have fluidity, you know? They're moving, they have energy, there's a flow there. I usually just do this till the sun comes down and then comes back up again. It's garbage, it's refuse, meant to be trashed and burned and forever forgotten. I would like give it a brand new life, brand new. I take it back and I build it up and I make it fabulous to the point that people are like, yeah. This help me, this heal me. I look at this, I feel empowered. For me to be able to take something that's nothing and make it into something super fabulous and have people feel uplifted and a source of hope and healing and identification, it's bigger than what I am. It's a super gift. And I just want to keep being the vessel to keep making it happen. If I just keep being me, it's easy. I just keep following that vessel, that empty vessel I know I am. Like, fill me up, fill me up. I can do it. I want to do that. I can do it. And it is going to be great. And I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I don't need to know how. I just know I'm going to do it. You have to trust yourself. You have to trust your ability. You can't think too much about any one thing. You just have to start doing it. And as you're doing it, then all the answers come. So for me, surrender is big. Knowing you can do it, you trust your own creativity, you trust what you were given, you trust your gift. You know, surrender and listen. Laura has many talents in many media. Be sure to check out her newest ventures by way of Facebook. <laughs>